See that opening? Apartment 216. Go look for a large red box with gold trim. That's where I stored my shoes. Aren't you coming with me? You're why my shoes are ruined. You get me new ones. Go inside, take the shoes, and leave. And don't touch anything else. Got it? I'm fine, chicken. container nearby. 
I'm inside. Don't touch anything. Just get those shoes. What's in here that's got you so spooked? place. Sorry, I don't see a red box anywhere. You dope, you're not looking hard enough. There's another room behind the plywood. Cozy nest. Why'd you ditch it for that den at the fisheye? Because that den is my home. I took all I needed with me. Except for the shoes, that is. Found your shoes. Great. Now get the fuck out of there. Oh, but it's quite the love nest with the wine and the view and the music. I mean, I'm starting to see a whole new Luan here. 
And you know what? I don't blame this guy, whoever he was, for liking her. Fuck you, Aiden. I, I, I didn't... Luan, wait. What? Hakon. Oh, you bastard. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out, even to the edge of doom. Oh, shit, Luan! Luan, are you there? Come on. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Just meet me on my rooftop. Get there and wait for me. You can give me the shoes and then fuck off. It figures you'd end up at the place you go when you're pissed off. Hey, has someone hurt you? My son. I gave my whole life to him, and in my golden years, how does he repay me? By making life hell. In my own home. I couldn't take it anymore. So I left. Where will you go? Oh, I heard about an abandoned container nearby. It, well... Well, she, sure... Th oh. How can a son do this to his mother? I'm at the mercy of strangers. This is not how I imagined things would be at my age. I live only for him, and this is how he pays me back. I hope Jack Matt deals with you. You know what I miss? Wait, don't you get enough adrenaline fighting for you? I. The. Wait, you're a paraglider? I was a skydiver, actually, but the Night Runners. It, I picked the perfect spot. Far from the out of let him.
your sneakers. You should also have this. I didn't realize you and Hakon had been together. Why do you think he's so high on my hit list? Yeah, that makes sense. Just because someone reads poetry doesn't mean they don't deserve to die. Did you guys break up because he abandoned Frank, or did he abandon Frank because you broke up? There's really no point in analyzing that now, Aiden. Whatever happened, it was a mistake, okay? I should have never been so naive. That's why I didn't want you snooping around. For fuck's sake, you could have just respected that. I'm sorry. Forget we went there. Just leave me alone. The one, what's going on? You just don't give up, do you? <laughs> you should know that by now. You should know I fucking hate whimpering. Saying how you feel isn't whimpering. Fine. Stick around if you have to, but don't interrupt me. I'm busy. You getting drunk? No, you dork. Looking at the stars. Hey, I can see the Big Dipper. Hmm, aren't you brilliant? Except that's not the Big Dipper. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. You know any other constellations? Yeah. Frank taught me a lot about the night sky back in the day. We were building the fisheye, and I'd climb the scaffolding all the way up to the roof. Frank would come up to tell me it's too cold, too late, and whatnot. But he always ended up telling stories for hours and hours. And I love to listen. The stars are so clear and seem close enough. You could grab them by the balls. <laughs> Frank's way of putting it. Nice, huh? What about you, Aiden? And what about me? Do pilgrims get their hearts broken? Like your constellation is sickness. See whatness? <laughs> there, look. The swan. When I stargaze, I always find the swan first. You're making all this up to impress me. Maybe. Maybe not. Are you impressed? <laughs> Pretty much. In that poem? It's just words, Aiden. Words mean that Love's not time. Love. Just words, huh? Yeah. Um, let's, uh, let's get some sleep. Aiden, if I see Hakon, I'm gonna kill him. Simple as that. Don't try to stop me. It's fine. But you know revenge doesn't make you feel better. This isn't for me. It's for Frank. 
I will avenge everyone who died that night. A lot of stars winked out forever. Hakon talks big, but when it came down to it, he bailed on his friends and they died. He showed his real face. Fucking coward. You can't turn back the clock. True. <laughs> but I can stop his fucking clock. And I fucking will. Now. Good night, Eden. Are you there? <laughs> That's odd. The one, come on, you hear me? Don't worry, she'll be back. A night beneath a canopy of stars is never forgotten. How did you. Vaughn, if you have spies, why do you need me? <laughs> because teaching a pilgrim to spy is easier than training a spy to jump across roofs. If you're such an expert spy, then give me the information I've been after. Of course. In fact, your GRE doctor is hiding in Old Villador. But come to the ship first. I'll tell you the rest here. <laughs> <laughs>